Julian Brothers Bakery is a community fixture in this Detroit suburb. It's one of the few small, locally run operations left. Every morning for the past 48 years, Richard Julian has put on his apron and served the neighborhood everything from deli meats to birthday cakes. The bakery is also situated on the edge of a county that was pivotal for Trump's victory, Macomb County, outside of Detroit. Julian, like some of his employees and many of his customers, voted for Trump. He thinks the president's term has been good for his 30 employees and his bakery. Donald uh, Trump was uh, uh, a little of a, much of a stretch for me in the beginning, but when he became the nominee for the party, I backed him because he was a businessman. This is exactly the sort of small, middle American establishment that was at the heart of Trump's campaign message, to lift up the little guy and stick it to the elites. Anne Celine Whiteven, an educator and a neighborhood resident, said she was attracted to Trump and his message in part because of how different he sounded. The more I listened and the more I heard his concretizing ideas, those were my ideas and that's what I began to watch. And I was at first, I mean the first debate, I was almost inside the TV, I thought what am I listening to? You know, it was just very interesting. It was so different. And it wasn't stayed. It was just different. They don't love everything about him. Everyone we spoke with mentioned that his tweeting can be cringeworthy, that maybe he has a tendency to speak without thinking, and sometimes his personal life can be messy. But Joan Fernane, a bakery regular and lifelong Michigan resident, said despite everything, she wants to see the president succeed. Um, I'd like to see him take us back to the days when People were people, not units or objects or numbers, uh, classifications, where people were people. But we have respect for one another, and um, I like some of the things that he's done on the spur of the moment. Um, I just, I really like the man, and I want to see him continue with his goals and at least get most of them accomplished. Not everyone in the neighborhood is a Trump supporter, and some family ties have been strained. Gary Milburn, an employee at the bakery, has two daughters who do not like Trump. He says he understood their objections, but he still voted for Trump. Family is not thrilled with me because um, because you know I did vote for Trump. Um, you know he's made you know different you know definitely many many excuse me many uh, statements regarding uh, grabbing women by the whatever and doing this and that, which to me is a lot of you know locker room talk. Two years into Trump's term as president, the country is still divided. There have been shocking announcements, scandals, treaties have been torn up. But would these people vote for Trump again? Would you vote for him again? Yes, I would. And if he runs again, I hope he wins. No, I, I will vote for him again. No, I want this to continue. I would vote for him again, depending on who he's going to be running against. At this stage, a true Republican challenger looks unlikely during the 2020 campaign and the Democrats will have a tall order to win back the hearts of these voters. Here in Julian's Bakery, it seems Trump would have no trouble getting reelected for a second term. Well, can the Democrats win back the hearts of the people they lost there? Uh, Tyson Barker from the Aspen Institute. What does Donald Trump need to do to get reelected? Well, I mean, you know, he's, he's delivered a lot to his conservative base and he's delivered a lot to the people that he really energized, these people who found his rhetoric refreshing. So one of the things that came out in that report was, you know, that he's sticking it to the liberals. And that is really a big part of his campaign promise. The tax cuts and the judges, that's, that's a really delivering to conservative, uh, the base, the evangelical voters and the like. Uh, the question is, what comes next? Can he deliver, for example, on his three big rallying cries, literally that he used at rallies. Build the wall, lock her up, drain the swamp. Drain the swamp and build the wall. Those are right. the two big ones right now. Right, exactly. And those in those three areas, there hasn't been much progress. In all those states, and these three, these four voters are, you know, kind of the cross section of his base. Older, white, working class in the upper Midwest. Uh, but those states, we, we have to note, really switched back to the Democrats and overwhelmingly voted for Democrats in the last election. In fact, every statewide election was won by a Democrat in Michigan in this last midterm election. So the question is, will they remain in that Democratic column? And will that translate uh, for a presidential election, not just a, con a congressional right, race? Right, yeah. exactly. And governors and okay. other statewide offices. Tyson Barker is ever from the Aspen Institute program director there. Thanks so very much.
Thank you.